Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com and today on the Ask PTL show we're going to be talking about how do you become a pharmacy technician from start to finish, okay? We're going to talk about A to Z, a basic streamlined process that you need to utilize and take. Let's talk about it. What are the steps to be a pharmacy technician? All right, so the first thing that you want to do, the very first thing, okay? Doesn't matter if you're already in retail, you're looking to go higher, or if you just have no pharmacy job at, at all and you're looking to enter into the field, the first thing that I want you to do, I want you to check your area for what pharmacy jobs are available to you, okay? What pharmacy jobs are out there and how abundant are they in your city, okay? And if you know the answer to this, I actually want you to post it in the comments below because I'd like to see exactly what you are working with in your area, okay? So you gotta know what's out there and what's available to you to know what you could potentially get, all right? Now, if you're not certified, I want you to look for retail pharmacy jobs only for the start, okay? If you don't have like a certification already or you don't have much experience, look for a retail pharmacy job because in retail, that is a good place to get that entry level with no certification or with little experience, all right? I want you to put yourself out there, okay? Put yourself out there. When it comes to pharmacy technician jobs or trying to get a job, you don't put yourself out there enough, okay? You wanna cast a wide net so that they know who you are, people who are hiring know who you are and know that you're interested in the job, all right? So put yourself out there a lot, a lot. Form a lot of connections, talk to a bunch of people concerning pharmacy technician jobs, and I guarantee you, one is gonna come through for you because they are abundant. Currently right now, there's a 9% growth rate in pharmacy jobs nationwide, okay? And we can break down all the numbers and calculate that, but I want you to know like, there is an abundance of pharmacy jobs out there available for you. The second thing I want you to do, get your certification, okay? Please, a lot of people, they just stick to and get content with the fact that you don't have to have a certification currently to necessarily enter into the field in every single state, okay? But I don't want you to do that, okay? If, if you're a viewer at Pharmacy Tech Lessons, I don't want you to stay right there, okay? I want you to be able to excel, and I also want you to be able to be ahead of the curve when it comes to the new regulations and things that are happening in this field as the years go by. So, um, for instance, there are some people, they haven't had a certification for over 20 years of working in retail pharmacy, but currently we get calls from them all the time. They now have to get their certification and the job is requiring it for them to keep their job. So it really would be a lot wiser and smarter for you to just be ahead of the curve and go ahead and get that certification or go ahead and start getting your proper training so that you don't have to worry about anything like that and you can eliminate those type of possibilities or obstacles from your journey in pharmacy. All right. So the third thing that I want you to recognize and do, okay? We've already covered like the getting the job part and things. We've already even covered that having your certification is a good thing. And by you having certifications, you make yourself a prime candidate for prime pharmacy technician jobs, okay? But another thing that I want you to do, have a mindset to go higher in pharmacy, okay? The, the, the possibilities in pharmacy are very, very high as a pharmacy technician. You have a lot of options available to you beyond just being in a hospital pharmacy even. So I want you to do your research and go higher in pharmacy and seek again what opportunities are available to you within a certain mile radius that you're comfortable with in your city, all right? If you're in these major cities, there are a lot of pharmacy opportunities for you, okay? So get in your mind, I wanna go higher in pharmacy, all right? Excel higher. And lastly, I just wanna say, I know that you've heard about a lot of these different certifications that are out here, and that's good. They have a lot of new ones as well, like for 
uh, sterile compounding is actually separate now, um, and the initial certification for it is actually separate. Get more certifications. If you're already at a comfortable spot in pharmacy, get more certifications, and that's gonna help you to be more of a, a, a prime target. And actually, um, in our communities, we show our students how they can actually become a sought out pharmacy technician versus having to always seek out all these different places for jobs, okay? So one of the ways in doing that is getting more certifications within the field. That's gonna make you a lot more competitive and that's gonna make you a prime candidate for the highest level of jobs and those even beneath it as well, okay? So you open yourself up for a lot more opportunities when you get these other certifications and add them to your resume and add them to your repertoire of being a pharmacy technician. All right, so I hope this video helped you. If you have any more like specific questions, maybe there were some gaps that didn't get filled in for you, I'm sure, then ask us in the comments and I'll be happy to let you know the answer for it, all right? This has been Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com. You have a great day. Talk soon, bye-bye.